From the beginning, uh, it was clear to me that this band, that this group, is really an institution. I actually did play this music, believe it or not, back in the day, but I, I knew very little about The Temptations. We actually together had done another show about a musical band, so to begin with, I was actually kind of skeptical. But two things happened to change that. I learned about the history of the band and realized that this could be a kind of renaissance for them, people finding out about their story. And the second thing is Otis Williams asked me if I would do it. And I have great respect for him and for his talent. He's a wonderful man. My connection with, with Otis has been incredibly respectful. He has, he has, all he has said, ever said to me, has always cheered me on. And he said to me one day, he said, I'm going to steal that step and I'm going to put it in my show. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he did. What Sergio's done with the dance, and Otis Williams would be the first to say that, is so far beyond you know, what they did and, and, and what they do. You know, he's brought a whole different dimension, a whole different kind of imagination. I had done all the research about the Temptations close to 20 years ago. Um, during that time, I was choreographing shows that took place in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. When it came time to do this show, you know, I thought what I really want to do is make sure that I have my own, my own point of view about the choreography, my own, my own signature, and really truthfully, what would Sergio do if he was a choreographer, choreographer of, the, of uh, the Temptations today? And that is what I arrived at and how I arrived at this show. He always seems to find the right steps. They're always the right steps. Never exactly what I would expect, but as soon as I see them, you know, it's like Beethoven, you know, the melody can't go any other way. <laughs> we are fortunate enough to have with us uh, a cast that is 100% all of them triple threats. And I had at my disposal, you know, these incredibly talented uh, actors, dancers, and singers. There is a, a theme that comes from Dominique Maurice's book, you know, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. That was very clear from the get-go. The story is about exits and entrances, something that we specialize in in the theater. So the theater is a perfect way to tell their story. Our relationship has evolved. As we continue to work on show after show after show, there's sort of this unspoken respect, but more than anything, trust. I think Des also trusts that, you know, whatever information he's imparted on me that I'm gonna run with it and, 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 and create something with it. We both have respect for the craft. I think we each have a skill. And I think we look at each other that way. You know, in other words, we, we do different things and sometimes they overlap. We work really hard and I think we also kind of communicate almost telepathically. We work together enough that we're often thinking the same thing. I think for me is really understanding that the ego is the show. And whenever I'm up to bat, whatever number I'm doing, it is to service the show, the story, and really truthfully to service the, the vision of my director. Jersey Boys was a success. We wanted to make sure that this was a different kind of enterprise, a different journey, and it certainly is. If we said, no, we've, we've, done, we've done one of those. We're not, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do Ain't Too Proud. It would have been a tragedy. So I think we're both very, very happy we had the privilege of, of telling this story.